Hi, I'm Amanda Olson, and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and certified pelvic floor rehabilitation specialist. And a common question that we get about the intimate rows vaginal dilators is how, where does it go and how far does it go in? So that, the answer to that question will vary depending on if you've had surgery and what your current condition in is. If you have vaginismus and you're experiencing muscle spasms um, or any other tightness or restriction in the vagina, the dilator is going to go into the vagina. So on the pelvic model here, you see this is the pelvic floor. We have the first hole being the urethra, the second hole being the vagina, third hole being the rectum. The vaginal dilator is going to go into the vagina. So um, you can use a generous amount of lubricant, water-based lubricant. Um, the Velvet Rose Intimate Rose lubricant is intended for use with the silicone dilator. You'll approach the vagina and then gently insert it in. The typical female vagina is approximately three inches long. If you have had radiation after cancer treatment or with cancer treatment, um, you may uh, find that the vaginal canal has shortened. Um, so discussing that matter with your physician is always a good idea and they will most likely have a protocol for you to follow after surgery as to what size vaginal dilator they want you to use and to what depth they want you to use it to. Um, and then likewise, if you have a neo-vagina or a person that has undergone a gender-affirming surgery and you have a new vagina, um, the cuff will depend on the surgeon's technique. And again, the surgeon will be able to direct you in the, the depth and, and um, the size to begin with. The interesting thing is um, during intercourse, um, the, the vaginal canal can relax and open up a little bit. So you are able to tolerate different depths of objects. Um, in intercourse, that would be, of course, the male penis. So when the muscles are relaxed, um, we're able to tolerate a longer item. And so you will find as you're going through your vaginal training program that you're able to insert the vaginal dil dilator a little bit further as you're able to relax. And so to what degree you need to tolerate depth will depend by and large on the size of your partner or your goal, whether it's to be able to tolerate a medical exam or a tampon. So uh, inserting to a depth that is comfortable and not pain-free is really important as you're going through the vaginal training process. We don't wanna force the, the dilator in, it should not be painful during that process. Um, understanding that you are experiencing vaginal pain, of course, but during the training process, we want to try to minimize that pain. It's not, this is not a no pain, no gain situation like other types of stretching or physical activity um, because we are training both the, the brain and the muscles to be able to relax and tolerate that object.